Today, we're diving deep into a question that many beginners have. Is WordPress free to use? By the end of the video, you'll not only have a clear understanding of WordPress's pricing, but you'll also know how to set up an account with one of our recommended hosting providers. Let's get right into it. First things first, what is WordPress? WordPress is a powerful content management system, or CMS, that allows you to create and manage your website easily. It's incredibly popular, powering over 40% of all websites on the internet. Whether you're starting a blog, an online store, or a business site, WordPress has the flexibility and functionality to help you build the exact website that you'd like. Let's break down some of the key components of WordPress. First, you have the core software, which is open source and free to download from wordpress.org. The software forms the foundation of your website, providing a user-friendly interface to create, edit, and manage your site's content. It's crucial to understand the difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org. Wordpress.com offers hosting services, which means your site is hosted by WordPress itself, but it comes with some limitations and potential costs. On the other hand, wordpress.org provides the software for WordPress for free, but you'll need to have your own hosting service. With wordpress.com, you might find it easier to get started quickly, but you could face restrictions on customization and the ability to monetize your site. WordPress.org, however, gives you complete control over your site's features, design, and monetization options. So I know you're asking, is WordPress free? The answer is yes and no. Let me explain. WordPress.com can host your site for free, but it's really not going to be a great professional looking option. You won't get to choose your domain name. They will be able to run ads on your site and really WordPress has complete control over it. On the other hand, WordPress.org is completely free to use and download. And here with a good hosting provider, you can build your site, add as many pages as you wish and customize it exactly to your liking. However, there are some additional costs associated with running a WordPress site, such as a domain name and web hosting. And these costs are essential for getting your site live on the internet, but it really isn't more than just a few bucks a month. Even though this option is going to cost you a little bit of money, we highly recommend this option over WordPress.com's free offer. You'll have more customizability and control for a very low monthly price. And a little later on in the video, we'll show you exactly how to do this with one of our favorite hosting providers. Going back to domains, let's talk a little bit more about what they are and why you might need one. A domain name is essentially your website's address on the internet. If you want more information on domain names, we actually created a full video on domain names that you can check out and we'll leave it linked down below in the description. But just know it's basically what people type in on their browser to come to your site. Domain names usually cost between $10 to $15 per year, depending on the registrar and domain extension that you choose, whether it's .com, .org, .net, or any other extension. Let's dive deeper into web hosting. Web hosting is what makes your site accessible on the internet. When someone accesses your site, they're accessing the files stored on your hosting provider's server. And there are different type of hosting services available, such as shared hosting, VPS hosting, and dedicated hosting, with each of these varying on level of performance, security, and cost. For beginners, shared hosting is often the best choice because it's affordable and easy to manage. Okay, so now that we know a little bit about domains and hosting plans, let's talk about one of our favorite providers for hosting plans, and that is Bluehost. Bluehost is actually one of the top recommended hosting providers to use with WordPress. And this makes it perfect for beginners because of how streamlined the process and the connection between the two are. Right now, we're going to show you exactly how to set up your account with Bluehost. So go ahead and click on that link down below in the description, and we'll join up here together to walk through the process. Once you've clicked on that special link down below, you'll see that it should bring you to a page that looks like this. And on the page here, you'll see that a free domain is included for the first year with Bluehost. You'll get a free SSL certificate included. It also has one click WordPress installation, which is really great. That's why we love Bluehost so much is because of how easy it integrates with WordPress. They also have expert 24 seven customer support, and they have a secure, reliable hosting plan. Their plans start at $1.99 per month, and they're regularly $7.99 per month at that 12 month term. But for the first year, you're going to get a discounted rate. And you'll see at the bottom here that this is a special intro offer and that you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So it's really at no risk to you to try it out. Once you're ready to get started, let's just go ahead and click get started now. And once you've done that, it'll bring you to the page where you have to choose a hosting plan. So we have four different plans here. And the first one is the basic plan at $1.99 per month. Then we have their recommended choice plan at $3.99 per month. Then we have the online store plan. If you're building an e-commerce brand, this is $7.45 per month. And then lastly, we have the pro plan for very high traffic websites at $9.99 per month. Let's just go over some of the features of each of these plans to show you what the differences are. On the basic plan, you'll get 10 websites with 10 gigs of SSD storage. You can have 100 concurrent visitors, and this is ideal for websites with under 40,000 visitors per month. All of these plans, like we said earlier, include that free domain name for the first year. You get a free trial of a professional email, free SSL, free CDN, a web 
native application firewall, DDoS protection, and 24-7 chat support. There's also some additional features here included in the plans, like the free WordPress migration tool, free malware scanning, free Yoast SEO, and a couple other features here. For most people starting out, the basic plan is going to be plenty fine for what you need. It's going to be good for a simple website or blog, but if you think your website is going to have more than 40,000 monthly visitors, which like I said, if you're just starting out, it's probably not. You can always go up to the choice plan here, which is $3.99 per month. That's going to include 50 websites, 50 gigs of SSD storage, 500 concurrent visitors. And this is ideal for websites getting around 200,000 monthly visitors. You get all the same perks of the other plan in addition to phone support, as well as a daily backup free for the first year. Daily backups are really important. I highly recommend even if you have the basic plan that you get daily backups. When my website went down for the first time, I was really grateful that I had these daily backups instead of weekly backups because I just made some edits on my site and I was able to easily revert to those changes. Also on this Choice Plus plan, there's domain privacy free for one year and all of the same extra features of the basic plan. Let's look at the online store plan. This is great for e-commerce brands. It includes up to 50 websites, 50 gigs of SSD storage, 500 concurrent visitors, up to 200,000 monthly visitors. This is very similar to the Choice plan, but it also has a WooCommerce auto installation feature here at the bottom and some other really helpful features here for e-commerce platforms. And lastly, the pro plan, like we said, if you're just getting started out, you're probably not going to need the pro plan, but this includes up to 100 websites, 100 gigs of SSD storage, 1000 concurrent visitors. And this is going to be ideal for websites that have 400,000 monthly visitors. It also has the highest level of support. So you have phone and chat and some other additional features as well. So once you're ready to get started, let's just go ahead and click on the basic plan here for 199 per month. And we can go ahead and click select. Now it's going to ask you to register a new domain. So let's just go ahead and choose one now. And once we've searched for our domain to see if it's available. Once you type it in, if it doesn't show you anything, then it is. So we can just go ahead and continue here. And this will bring us to the cart where we can add some additional features if we'd like. So the WordPress basic hosting plan for one year is here for $23.88. You'll see that they give us a free domain, which is a value of $13 per year. That's free for the first year. And then domain privacy and protection is also free for the first month. And that's $2.95. We can get a professional email free for the first three months as well. And you'll see that today's total comes out to $23.88 eight cents, which is an insane deal. Once you're finished with that, just go ahead and click continue to checkout. Then we can go ahead and enter all of our contact information here. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and create an account password and we can choose our billing information here. Once you've added your credit card information here, you can just go ahead and look at the cart before submitting your payment to make sure everything looks good and it does. So once you're ready, go ahead and click submit payment and you'll be on your way to having your first hosting plan set up. All right, so that's it. You've successfully signed up for your Bluehost hosting plan for your first website. So remember, while WordPress is free. Investing in a good hosting plan like Bluehost is essential for a smooth and reliable website experience. So that's all we have for today in understanding if WordPress is free to use. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also hit the notification bell because you won't want to miss any of our future tutorials. This channel is dedicated to creating content to help you start and grow your first website. Also, we'll leave links to the other videos that we talked about today in the description down below. We'll also leave that link to Bluehost down below in the description. And and it is an affiliate link, so we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This really helps us keep creating free videos like this for you. So thank you so much in advance. With that said, we thank you so much for watching and we wish you all the best on your website building journey. We'll see you in the next video.